Let's look at the equilibrium between NO2 gas and N2O4 if we change the temperature. So given this equilibrium, what happens to the color intensity when I raise the temperature? Will it increase, decrease, or stay the same? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, heat is a product, so adding heat, raising the temperature, shifts the reaction towards reactants, making it darker. B, the dimerization releases heat, so heat is in excess and adding more heat has no effect. Or C, raising the temperature favors the side with more heat, the products, so it gets lighter. Think about those three and make another selection. We're talking about the equilibrium between NO2 and N2O4. NO2, a brown gas, N2O4, a clear gas. Now we know that this is an exothermic chemical reaction, so heat is a product. If we add heat, then we'd expect the equilibrium to shift back towards reactants to relieve that stress by Le Chatelier's principle. So if we shift back towards reactants, the reactant concentration increases, and we should see an increase in color intensity. So let's see that happen. I have two flasks here, both with the N2O4 and the NO2 gas. The NO2 gas is the brown gas, the reactant. I'm going to heat one and cool the other to see the effect of temperature. We expect that the hotter, the higher temperature will be darker. Let's see that happen. Cooling one heating the other. So I've immersed one in ice water and I've immersed the other in hot water. So the temperature change of, you know, a few tens of degrees Celsius. So I'm going to pull these out. Let's see what they look like. We have hot on my right and cool on my left. And you can see the hotter got darker. So that's a beautiful effect, and in fact, it's common for equilibrium constants to behave like this. If you have an equilibrium constant for an exothermic reaction, the equilibrium constant will decrease with temperature, and for an endothermic reaction, equilibrium constants increase with temperature. So exothermic, slight decrease, endothermic increase, and we can rationalize it by the heat being a product or a reactant. In this case, exothermic reaction, a decrease in the equilibrium constant. Decrease in the equilibrium constant means more reactants. Now this is actually the equilibrium constant changing. So this is not a shift where Q changes, it's actually K that changes. So I go to a K that's smaller. A smaller K means bigger denominator, more reactants. The color increases, K gets smaller. 